Leo, what's good? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do your reading, Leo. What's good? What's clack a lacking? All right, Leo. Let's tap in. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. Now, Leo, first of all, it's hella early in the morning. And I am not an early person at all. I don't get up early unless I absolutely have to. It's like, what time is it? It's 5.44 in the morning. But my spirit guys was like bothering me so bad about this reading. So I just got up like, fuck it. Let's see what's going on with my Leos because I, I already knew that I was getting ready to do y'all reading today. It just wasn't supposed to be this early. But as I'm laying here trying to get some sleep or whatever, I well, I started to meditate on you guys' energy yesterday. And so when I was laying in the bed, I'm, I started to get downloads. And what's crazy is, like, I feel like Leo is somebody out here. It's a female out here. Period. It could be a Taurus for some of y'all, but it doesn't have to be. But it's a female out here that wants your attention. I don't know who this woman is. Or I just feel like, like, Leo, you got, like, people, like, nitpicking at you and shit. But I feel like it's only distractions because, Leo, like, I feel like y'all are focused right now. Um, a lot of y'all are healing. A lot of y'all are protecting y'all peace focused on the bag, working on new projects and shit. So it's just like, you ain't really been paying attention to a lot of shit, really. Um, but it's one, it's like a female energy out here that's really like, I don't know, this woman is like immature as fuck. She got like the mind of a child. And it's like, she either always wants to nitpick with you. They're like, this could be a family member, but it doesn't have to be. But it could be like an ex, like, um like an ex-lover or ex-friend. Like, I feel like this is somebody that you cut off. But I feel like whoever this is, like, you used to have a really close relationship with this person I'm hearing. Um, th You could be related to your person. So this could be like a sibling or, or like a best friend, somebody that you consider to be family. But I'm hearing that it could be multiple people. So it could be like a few females, like an uh, ex-female friend, an ex-best friend, um a uh, ex-sibling like it's like all these people that you cut cut off and don't fuck with like that's who i feel like these people are leo like these are specifically people that you were once close with and then you had to be the one to cut them off not they cut you off you had to be the one to cut these people off these are the people that i'm talking about but i i'm picking up real like intense female energy um, I'm definitely getting Pisces. I'm getting Taurus. Um, and then that's what's crazy. So when I was laying in the bed and I was meditating on you guys' energy like all day yesterday, because I knew I was gonna do the reading today. Um out of nowhere, um, I posted my Libra reading like two weeks ago. My Libra re reading has like over two thousand views, I think, and like that that video has been posted for like two um uh, two weeks already and out of nowhere yesterday i'm like minding my business and shit and i get a notification you know which whatever but i look at it and it's like somebody in my comments in the lead leave a reading like talking shit or whatever and i'm like what the fuck so it definitely could be like a Libra that's trying to get your attention too. Uh, if this is not a female energy for some of you, this could be like a man with female tendencies, basically like a bitch ass nigga. It's like some some. It's like a whole bunch of people. Like whoever the fuck the people is that you like cut off. These this is who these people is. Like specifically, she could be a Taurus because. Um, Janet Jackson is a Taurus, but I'm picking up a Taurus female, a Pisces female, a Libra female, or or they could be any sign, but this is like, I don't know, some mad ass female with you. She could wear like long braids or box braids or crochet, crochet or whatever the fuck you call that shit. But yeah, it's like, I don't know, like it's some female out here that wants your attention like hella bad and you not giving it to her and it's pissing this bitch off look at her her arms crossed to everything 
Like, it's a woman out here, like, straight mad because, I don't know, you won't give her the time of day. Like, look, it says road trip. It says toxic friends, family reunion. I'm telling you, and today is Easter Sunday. So, for those of you that are, like, celebrating Easter and you plan on hanging with your family and shit, be aware because it's a, it's a mad-ass bitch at the gathering. It's, it's a bitch that's going to be at the family dinner, the Easter Sunday dinner, and she don't really like your ass. So, uh, my guides are saying take the high road, Leo. That's probably why they wanted me to do this reading so goddamn early because before y'all go to this family event, Family occasion, hopefully you get to see this reading and watch out for this bitch because she, like, look at this, it says love is a juice. This bitch really cares about you, but she's just immature as fuck. Like, instead of just coming to you and saying, like, yeah, and look, the background of this card is, like, light blue. So, this bitch is, like, in her feelings because blue, like, represents emotions to me. But, like, this bitch is in her feelings on some shit, but be mindful this bitch when she see you at this family gathering today for easter sunday bitch she gonna be tweaking she gonna be tripping okay but yeah but like i'm like my my channel is hella peaceful like i don't like when i do these readings i don't feel like i be giving off no weird vibes and shit like i you know that's not my energy like you know but i'm just like who in the fuck you know that's how you know you dealing with weirdos because normal people if you click on a tarot reading and the message doesn't resonate with you most people would just click the fuck off and go watch somebody else but you on my channel watching my video and then want to get in my comments because you feel triggered i i i don't got time for that and i i don't I, I don't entertain that type of energy either. So you come on my, and this is, I ain't talking about you, Leo, but I'm just talking about any Zodiac sign. I don't give a fuck which of the 12 you are. You get in my, you get in my motherfucking comments and you say anything out the way, you will get gone the fuck off on and you will be blocked and deleted. Period. 707 on the clock as I say that because I'm not playing. Like, I'm the high priestess and I do these readings, but... I do this to help the collective to put to to put out positive energy um into the universe into the collective for people that need healing for people that don't have nobody to talk to when they come to my channel to to listen and shit. But that's why I do this channel. That's why I have this platform. It don't got nothing to do with money. This this ain't no shit that I'm getting paid for. I'm not getting sponsored or none of that shit. So Leo, you could definitely be dealing with like a lot of weirdos. Like people that you just straight, you don't talk to these people. You don't know these people. And you just got people like just coming for you, especially whoever this is. It's some mad ass female in, in your family, um, sister, cousin. So whoever this woman is in your family that you cut off, this bitch got an attitude with you. Like, because you don't want to fuck with her. But she's so immature. She got a mind of a child that she don't know how to just come to, come to you and say that. Instead, she got to be uh, just all up in her feelings, arms crossed and all this. It's like she wants you to acknowledge the fact that she mad. And I'm hearing, Leo, you you don't give a fuck. Like, Leo, I feel like you've been busy lately. You you got shit going on. You doing your thing. You in the zone. You focusing. It's like these motherfuckers trying to distract you because they all in their feelings and shit. That's a personal problem. Like, whatever. But, Leo, we going to tap in. We going to see what the fuck going on. Like I said, I'm a high priestess. I do tarot readings. But trust and believe, the, the queen of swords resides in me as well. Like, <laughs> you get in my comments popping your shit. You gonna get going off on, so choice is yours. Like plus, I'm God don't play about me. So like, instant karma if you come fucking with me, cause I don't fuck, I don't bother people. You know what I'm saying? So like, this ain't the platform for that. You want to be negative? You go to somebody else's channel, cause that's not we will what we promoting on this motherfucker. So Leo, we gonna keep it moving. We gonna see what's going on with y'all right now. Since I had to get up out my sleep and do this fucking reading, um. Spirit, what is the messages? What zodiac signs for Leo? Before we get into the rest of this shit, Aquarius. So yeah, one of these petty ass motherfuckers could be an Aquarius. Aquarius is also the opposite sign from Leo. 
So I feel like a lot of you Leos are more, um, you're operating from your Aquarius um, energy right now. So you could be like very emotionally detached, you know, really in a, I don't really give a fuck type of, type of vibe. Um, because you're like focused. Like I feel like Leo, you're kind of operating out of your uh, mental space, your logical space, because Leos are are the heart of the zodiac they have the biggest heart they represent the sun the 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 giver of life so for i don't know like i'm gonna clarify that but mm, i just started this reading and i'm already starting to burp that's like confirmation because i don't really burp for real i don't even drink soda like i don't drink soda at all so, like, for me to be, like, burping out of nowhere, every time I start to do these readings, bro, like, I feel like I'm getting ready to say something that's going to resonate with somebody. But, yeah, definitely, and like, you guys are operating from your opposite sign right now, which is Aquarius. So, a lot of um, emotional detachment. It's like you're really in this, like, I don't really give a fuck type of energy. Like, it's not too much shit that's, like, that you're really tripping off of. <laughs> Especially, like, when it comes to emotions and shit. It's just, like, you don't really care or something like that. But like I said, Aquarius energy is intellectual. So, a lot of y'all are um, studying a lot, researching a lot. It's like you're just into... I feel like some of y'all have transformed into, like, a sapiosexual. It's like... She can't hold your attention unless it's, like, stimulating your mind, basically. So, I feel like that's a lot of, right, like, these people, is like, they don't understand you. But it's because they don't understand your level of, uh, like, intellectual, like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't understand your, uh, intellect. That's the word. Thank you, spirit. Um... And I just feel like, I don't know, it's like maybe people are like thinking that you're coming off as like a bitch or something like that, but they just don't understand where your mental space is like where your mind is at right now. Like, I feel like you're thinking about long-term shit, like longevity. I'm hearing investments. I'm hearing generational wealth. Like, you're really like in the zone on some mental shit, Leo, and people are just not understanding that these people are still like low vibe haven't done any work on themselves so they can't understand why you're just like in this i don't give a fuck attitude but it's not even that it's just like you're trying to figure out how to accomplish something and you just don't have time to be entertaining nothing that's not gonna help you reach this level or whatever hopefully i'm making sense but anyway yeah, fire. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is you, Leo. Look at you. See? Did I say, Leo, you done gained your wings. Look at them butterfly wings. Y'all have transformed. Okay, Leos, y'all are different now. Look at her wings. Them motherfuckers is bright. Like, y'all are ready to take off. And look at the wings. The wings look like it, the fire look like it's coming out of her head space. I'm telling you, like, y'all ideas or whatever you're thinking about, whatever your plan is, whatever this is that you're coming up with, it's definitely the recipe to success. Like, real shit. So, no wonder you don't have time to be distracted by all this low vibrational shit. Like, you really got a master plan going on right now, Leo. So... Stay focused is what I'm hearing. Um, fire energy, Leo. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with fire on fire. So you could be dealing with another Leo or Sagittarius or Aries. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. Give me one more. Saturn. Yeah, some of you... Leos, you're coming out of your Saturn return. And I can't remember which sign is Saturn. We got Virgo on the bottom of the deck, too. So, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Hold on, let me see. Let me Google this real quick. I think Saturn is Capricorn. But 
but I want to double check because I don't want to be giving y'all the wrong information or getting the wrong information myself. Let's see. Yeah, Capricorn. So we got Saturn out here. Some of you, congratulations, Leo. Some of y'all have made it through y'all Saturn return. So you are definitely a new version of yourself right now. And people don't know the new you. That's why these people feel like you're being a bitch or you're mean or all this type of goofy ass shit. Because they don't understand the new version of you. They don't understand Leo 2.0. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So, yeah, fire on fire. You could be dealing with another Leo, a Sagittarius, an Aries, and Aquarius. Virgo was on the bottom of the deck, and we got Capricorn out here. And then I said Taurus because of Janet Jackson. So, let's see. We got, uh, what does this say? Marrying for money and boss daddy. Then we have moving. So, some of you Leos could be moving. Yeah, some of you Leo men... You are in divine masculine energy. Like I said, you've transformed um, Leo 2.0. So, Leo, man, I feel like you may have been in a fake-ass relationship that was just based on money and shit. And maybe it worked for you for a while, like the image, because maybe you and this person look good together or whatever the case may be. But I feel like you're bossing up and you like, nah, fuck this. Like, I don't want to keep being in no fake-ass relationship. So, some of you Leos are up and leaving somebody. Like, real shit, male or female. Like, I feel like you're tired of this fake-ass marriage, this fake-ass relationship, this fake-ass person. So, you just bossing the fuck up, finding a new place to stay, packing your boxes up, and you just getting the fuck on. Like, some of you Leos, or if, you, or if you're married or in a long-term relationship, I see you just packing up and leaving this motherfucker. Like, real shit. Just packing up and leaving. Because it's just like, yeah, this fake ass shit ain't going to work for me no more. Or maybe you're realizing that this person is only with you for money. And so you're like, yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna bust a move and get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> um, then others of you, I feel like this could be some man who wants to approach you or wants to pursue you. But he's already in a relationship with somebody. Like, So this could be like a married man that's trying to talk to you or connect with you or something or uh, whoever this man is he's already in a relationship and so but i don't think he's happy in this relationship the relationship is fake as fuck it's just for money it's just for show like the, who, whoever this person is they don't do nothing but pay bills together or he could be in the midst of leaving this relationship. If this isn't you leaving your relationship and you're single, this is somebody trying to get out of a, a fake-ass relationship for you. But I don't know about that. Like, the fuck? Also, Leos, be mindful of... I'm also hearing with this moving and boss daddy and... and marrying for money if you're single i feel like this could be somebody also trying to approach you um and get in a relationship with you under false pretenses like if you're completely single you're not talking to nobody and you're definitely not talking to nobody that's already in a relationship that you know of whoever this person is that's approaching you this is their plan they think that they're going to pack up all their boxes and, and come to you on this boss daddy, on this big dick energy, and then y'all going to be in some sort of relationship, get married or something like that, and it's really all for money. Like, whoever this is, like, approaching you, acting like they want to be in a relationship and they're ready for a commitment, um, Leo, definitely test the spirit because I feel like this person looks at you as some sort of cash cow or something like this person like is going to try to marry you or propose to you for money or stability or something or you could be finding this out about this person if you're in a relationship like somebody out here is figuring out that somebody only wants to be with them for their status for their money for what they do for a living it's not because they actual love it's like materialistic so you could be leaving somebody because you're figuring out the person that you were with was on, was only trying to be with you for money or if you're completely single, this is somebody who's trying to leave a relationship only for money. Um, yeah, this is somebody who's leaving a relationship 
where it was only about the money and this person is trying to come towards you. Or if you're completely single and you don't even talk to nobody or you don't even know that this person is in a relationship, it's like, I don't know. So whoever's approaching you, I feel like it's false pretense pretenses. Like, I feel like they only want to be with you because they think you have money or you look good or your status or something. And this person has some sort of plan. Look at these boxes and shit. Like, this motherfucker got this shit all planned out. Like, they think that, okay, I'm going to pack up all my boxes. I'm going to put it on this suit. I'm going to go towards Leo and propose. And this how we going to look. Like, two dummies. Because this is two, two Barbie dolls. Two dummies in a relationship. <laughs> or this is how this person looks with somebody that they're with already. Like, I don't know. Somebody out here is in a fake-ass relationship. If it ain't Leo, Leo, if it ain't you, this is the person that's thinking about approaching you. They look, they're look, they looking at you like some sort of, I don't know, um, some type of, what's the word I'm looking for? They just looking at you like a dollar sign. They looking at you like you got money, stability and shit. And this motherfucker think they really finna put a suit on and, and come towards you with all this big dick energy. This person may lie and say they own a business or, or something like that. And then they think y'all gonna end up in a relationship together. So, I don't know. And then we got these raggedy ass family members out here. That's mad at your ass because you don't want to fuck with them no more. Say road trip, hurt, pain. Yeah, this person has a lot of unresolved trauma. This this person doesn't focus on their own healing. Um, I feel like this is the type of person that, that seeks for valid validation outside of themselves. Because it says grew up too fast. So may, maybe you grew up with this person opposites attract so for some of you this definitely could be an aquarius because i just uh got done saying that aquarius is our is uh aquarius is leo's opposite sign so if it's a opposites attract this could definitely be your opposite zodiac so uh leo's you definitely could have an aquarius female that's like upset with you for whatever reason but like i said this one this woman or this lady or whoever she is it's a lot of hurt and pain that she hasn't dealt with. So she's just immature. Like, instead of like, I don't know, whatever she's mad about, instead of just coming to you and having a conversation, she's just sitting here looking with her arms crossed and shit. Like, that's not going to fix anything. But whatever. Also, for some of you, this could be an ex that's doing this too. Because we got DMX literally dmx a dm from from your ex so for some of you leos you can expect a dm from your ex um <laughs> maybe today they might use um the easter sunday excuse as a way to contact you or say something to you or reach out to you or dm you whatever but it says spirit flesh year of the dog prayer warrior how's it going down rough ride uh, let me fly addiction um x for some of you your ex's name literally could be x like maybe this person's name is like xavier or something um it says i'm slipping i'm falling whoever this ex is he could be a bald man he doesn't have to be but he could be um but i feel like this person like struggles with some sort of addiction i don't know what kind of addiction this is i don't know if it's a sex addiction or or because it says spirit versus the flesh so I feel like this person straddles the fence between spirituality and um, like devil energy, like 3D shit, bullshit that don't even fucking matter. It's like this person like is of two minds. It's like they don't know if they should be spiritual or they don't know if they want to be toxic. Like I feel like they're trying to get out of it, get out of it. Um, they may be trying to do some sort of prayer or. Um, maybe they're just hoping and praying that when they, when they DM you 24, 24 on the timer, they're praying that if they DM you, you answer or respond or something. Cause it says I'm slipping, I'm falling. Uh, for some of you, this person could have had like some sort of drug addiction and maybe this person is like on the verge of relapsing. I don't know addiction of what it could be anything, drugs, alcohol, like I said, sex addiction. And this person may be getting ready to relapse. 
And so they're going to try to reach out to you for help or something or, you know, praying that you answer or something like that. Yeah, year of the dog. I feel like for a lot of you, this person was a player, like a cheater. So for a lot of you, this person could have sex addiction. And then we got Scream out here. So, uh, Leo, you definitely got... Um, you can have people around you that's wearing a mask, so pay attention, use your discernment. Um, others of you legit do have a stalker, or both of these people could be stalking you. Whoever this mad ass ex friend or family member is, and you definitely have an ex um that's stalking you. Um, DMX was a Sagittarius, so you have a Taurus, a Sagittarius, or Aries. Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, or Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo. Yeah, them the only signs that I have. But yeah, those are the signs that could currently be wearing a mask. Like these people are trying to hide the fact that they need your help. Hide the fact that, um, I don't know, they have some sort of issue with you. Like, I don't know what it is, Leo. It's like, if these people got an issue with you, why won't they just come say something? Or like, I don't know. I feel like these per people don't know how to approach you or something. Maybe they have, like, been trying to get your attention doing petty shit and shit like that. And maybe, like, either you just didn't notice or you don't care. Because, like I said, I feel like you guys are, Leos, you've made it through your Saturn return. So, you're focused on these new ideas, these new businesses, these new plans. And, like, you just ain't been paying attention to a lot of outside shit because you've been in your own zone and so these people like some of these people got an issue with you and you didn't even know but yeah these people like they wearing a mask and they look scream they they up under this mask wanting to scream and shit it's like these people want your attention so bad they just want to like yell out your name or something but like <laughs> Like, they know they're going to look crazy if they do that. So, they'd rather just hide behind this mask and stalk you versus actually coming to say something to you. That shit is just weird. But, yeah, it says grudges. So, you got a lot of people that's, like, holding a grudge towards you. Like, look at her. Like, you definitely got people who are, like, mad at you, Leo. For what? I don't know. Um, yeah, and it says watch your friends. So, be careful. I'm Yeah, I'm hearing Judas. So, one of your friends around you are carrying the spirit of Judas. If you don't know what that is, Google it. But Judas was basically a disciple of, you know, he was one of the 12 disciples. And he basically, you know, God put him on and shit or whatever. And I don't know. It was like, he was just, he wasn't used to shit. Um... Like Judas wasn't used to shit. He was too caught up in the 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 what we would consider in this day and age. Judas was too caught up on the clothes, the monies, the women, all this type of goofy shit, and it really went to his head to the point where he basically ended up backstabbing God and. Hold on, because I'm getting too many downloads at once. Yeah, he ended up betraying God and thought that he was never going to get caught. But in the end, he did get caught. And when he got caught, if, like, you, you got to Google the whole story because I don't want to waste too much time on that. But the story of Judas is G-U-D-A-S. Most spiritual motherfuckers are familiar with that. If you're new to tarot or you're new to my channel, just Google the story of Judas. But basically, in the end, he had, um, basically, God put him on. You know, he put him on to his platform. He welcomed him and shit, made him feel like family and everything. And he basically, like, took that shit to head, like, the the because you know god was like popular so he was getting all the attention you know he was known he was well known like people fucked with you know uh fucked with the g okay but he 
he just got, I don't know, like his ego got out of control or he just wasn't used to shit or he got addicted to a certain type of, to that lifestyle to the point where he felt like he was invincible and he decided to go against the grain and he did some foul ass shit um to the most high and in the end i mean karma basically whooped his ass i'm talking about karma got his ass so bad to the point where judas basically ended up taking himself out like real shit he ended up committing suicide because of all the backlash that he received after he got exposed for doing what he did so i don't know it could be somebody your ex like whoever these people is that did some shit to you leo they could really be going through karma which is why like especially if it's your ex dmx this motherfucker is praying to god like please let them answer please let them respond please let them say something anything because i feel like this person may want to apologize to you but i feel like they want to apologize for some foul ass shit that they did um like on some judas type shit or this or this female did but i don't understand like i'm definitely gonna have to pull yeah i'm getting ready to pull these cards because i feel like if if, if these people did something to you why the fuck are they the ones holding grudges and shit? Why are they mad at you if they the ones who did the shit? Maybe they mad because they they thought you was going to respond differently or I don't know, maybe they thought that you were going to come back or y'all was going to work things out or resolve some shit and whole time they didn't know that you were going through your Saturn return. You're not even the same person that, that they remember. You're not even the same version of yourself that you were when you were dealing with these people. So, like, yeah, it could be some ex-friends, ex-lovers, family members and shit that's trying to get on your team now. But it's like you're not paying these people no attention at the moment because you are, your mind is already occupied with other shit. You're trying to create generational wealth. So, it's just like you don't have time to be babysitting motherfuckers' feelings and shit. I don't know. Let's see. Give me messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. So, yeah. Excuse me, Leo. But, yeah. We got the son of baskets um, on the bottom of the deck, which this is um, the Knight of Cups reverse. So, yes, this could be the Knight of Cups reverse. This could definitely be this X. He could be a Sagittarius with water in his chart. Doesn't have to be. Or he could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But whoever this man is, he's hella immature. Knight of Cups reverse, hella immature. This person's a liar. This person sold you a lot of fucking dreams. Uh, made a lot of promises that they didn't keep. Very emotionally manipulative and immature. Um, this is the type of person, the Knight of Cups reverse, that likes to love bomb, gaslight. Um, just this person is a hot ass mess and like very emotional. Like this, this motherfucker lies and gaslights and sell dreams and like manipulates people. But I feel like they're hella sensitive when somebody does something to them. Who I don't, whoever the fuck this is, I'm just definitely feels like your ex. Um, this person may be trying to, they're getting ready to approach you. Some of them, they already have. Some of you, they're getting ready to do this. They're going to try to approach you. Um, Knight of Cups reverse. Oh, this person is going to be in their feelings. It's in the reverse. So they're going to be manipulative. This is somebody trying to fake apologize to you and shit. Like this person is just coming in to try to get back in your good graces because their end goal is to be in this fake ass relationship with you. The Knight of Cups reverse is somebody who's going to say whatever, manipulate your emotions. Like I said, this is definitely an ex because I feel like this person already knows that you care about them to a certain extent. Or like I said, whoever these people are, when they think of you, Leo, they still think about the, the old version of you. 
They don't know this new version of you. They don't know the person that you've developed into since you've been separated from them. So they're going to come in with this Knight of Cups reverse energy because they feel like they can manipulate your emotions because you loved them once upon a time or you cared about them once upon a time or you were in love with them once upon a time. They they think they're going to come in and like manipulate your emotions and make you feel some type of way. It's not, it's, I don't feel like it's going to work, but this is the tactic that they're going to try if they haven't already. So, Knight of Cups reverse, a motherfucker is on some bullshit, definitely a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or a sensitive ass, um, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, whoever. Um, and you know, the Knight of Cups reverse is also my bisexual card too. Cause I said, I said that in the beginning of this read, I'm like, whoever this person is, whoever this ex is, it's gotta be like a man with like female tendencies. It's like a bitch ass nigga, like real shit. 35, 35 on the timer. As I say that, but yeah, this person is this man, this ex, he acts like a female, whoever this is. And he could very well be gay. Cause the Knight of Cups reverse, that's my bisexual card. So this man, either he likes both men and women or he's like a down low like undercover that's what i'm saying like marrying for money like this motherfucker could be like in a fake ass relationship or something and behind closed doors this nigga really is like homosexual it's like they got a whole wife and kids and shit at home but behind closed doors this nigga is like a, a like <laughs> My guys are saying booty banded. I didn't want to say that because that's hella disrespectful. But <laughs> yeah, he just, he's, this man is down low, especially if it's a water sign, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio X is, yeah, he with the shit. But this is, this person may try to apologize and come back towards you. And this is how they present themselves. Like big dick energy. Like they're ready for a relationship. But it's only because they feel like you have stability. You have money and you will look good together with this person. Um, Yeah, this person, whoever this water sign is. It could be a female in this energy too though. If it's a water sign, female, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, she could be, you know, she could go both ways as well. You know, gender really doesn't matter in tarot. It's just the energy that the person carries. But it's definitely um, a bisexual or a gay, Cap not Capricorn, could be a Capricorn because I said that, but definitely a bisexual, gay, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that think they're finna come back in and love bomb you gaslight you manipulate you because i feel like this person at one point you might have cared about them or had some sort of soft spot and this person thinks that they can manipulate that but like i said that's the old version of you saturn is out here you didn't already experience major change look at these wings you've already experienced major change you got your wings now period like you not this this idiot whoever this is is not gonna come in and be able to gaslight or manipulate nothing. If anything, they gonna get their ass going off on because I was kind of clicking on like clicking going off in the beginning of this reading. So I'm telling you this that's what that's um excuse me that may be what pisses you off that this person comes towards you on this bullshit and it's like you see through them so clear it's like i already know what the fuck you doing like just stop like this shit is not gonna work like i'm like a whole different person and you coming towards me with this bullshit like you just might click out on somebody for insulting your intelligence is what i'm feeling like Yeah, Leo, I feel like somebody is going to try to test the spirit. I feel like because it's killing somebody. I'm telling you, scream. Somebody here is like stalking you, watching you. Could be on your social media platforms or whatever the fuck it is, especially if you don't fuck with this person no more. And it's like they want your attention so bad. This motherfucker is ready to scream behind this mask, like literally like yell and shit. And this person is getting so frustrated that they can't have none of your attention. They think they finna come in and love bomb you. And this person might even cry and shit. Like, who the fuck is this, Leo? Oh, my God. Wow. Definitely could be a Scorpio. Yeah, definitely could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Heavy Scorpio. We got death card in reverse. So... 
This is a motherfucker that de don't want to change or whoever these people are that are trying to come back. They have not changed at all, for one. They have not changed. These people haven't grown. They're exactly the same people when you quit fucking with them. Although you've changed, you got the fire up under your ass. You got the light. You got the vision. You got the, you got it, Leo. That's why you've been focused. These people over here are just stuck doing the same shit they always do. Haven't changed. Death card in reverse. Fear of change. All this type of shit. For some of you, these relationships been over with for a while. This shit been dead in the water. And death card reverse, these people are now trying to revive some type of dead situation with you. Um, especially if it's a Scorpio. But I'm telling you, this person is like extremely immature, manipulative, sensitive, liar, gaslighter, dream seller, love bomber. Like, the motherfucker just ain't shit. Whoever this water sign is. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um... Yeah, so these people have not changed. They're trying to unearth some dead situation. Like, I feel like, I, I really strongly feel like you don't fuck with these people no more. And they are really going to try it. These motherfuckers is in their feelings. They're in their body because you, it's almost like these people just don't even exist to you no more. They don't exist in your world anymore. <laughs> Real shit. And I feel like that shit is, like, triggering people. Like, they don't understand how you could just not give a fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So, Capricorn towards Virgo. So, Leo, this is you. Like I said, a lot of you female uh, Leos are very financially stable. You're comfortable. Um, you're at home, you got a nice bed. Like, look at that bed back there. Like, y'all got one of them um bed frames that's like tufted in the back, like you know, they look kind of puffy and shit. But yeah, look, y'all got y'all blindfold on doing self-care. Some of you probably got some lavender in your house. Um, some of you have a cat, um, or a turtle, or it's a it's a it's a cat, so I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but it's a cat right here. It's a turtle. It's a snail. And it's an a owl right here. So, Leo, you are divinely protected. You're at home, comfortable, chilling with your wife beat around, minding your business, taking care of self, aromatherapy, all this shit, ignoring these people and this fuck shit. Like, you're like completely oblivious that these people have some type of issue with you like you may have some some idea but you really don't give a fuck but like yeah, these people are bothered okay and you're just at home comfortable minding your business catching up on beauty sleep um especially because look at that that looks like the full moon so you definitely could have been doing a lot of self-care this this weekend leo um yeah, mother of coins, you're financially stable, you look good. The queen of coins takes care of herself, and she's about her bag. She's about her money, her stability. Like, she likes to live a certain type of lifestyle. Some of these people may think you're bougie. I'm hearing. <laughs> but, yeah, Leo, it's just like you're comfortable. You're focused on your business, your, your businesses. Some of you could work from home or you have some sort of home-based business, but... You're just comfortable. You're focused on your own shit, minding your own business, divinely protected. You're tapped in with your spirit guides and, you know, your ancestors and everybody else. And you y'all just chilling at your crib and shit. <laughs> and people are straight bothered by this. Then you have a father of baskets out here. So it's another water sign out here, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you may meet. Now, the father of baskets is upright. So, this man may be in love with you. Um, I like the the king of cups upright. Um, the king of cups is a righteous man. Um, he's still sensitive, but he's emotionally mature. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to communicate when something is, something is bothering him or something like that. I feel like this man is in love with you. There's a man who's looking at looking at how you handle your business, how you take care of yourself, how you do your thing, and this person like really really likes you. However, this uh King of Cups, I feel like this is a new person though. 
it's not this ex. This ex, this Knight of Cups reverse, this is just somebody who's immature, manipulative, crybaby, all that type of shit. This um, King of Cups is a new person. And I feel like they're just showing up in this cup energy and this emotional um, energy because this person may be like, I don't know, maybe they fell in love with you at a distance or I don't know. It's just like, they can see themselves like falling in love with somebody like you because this person is watching you. So I feel like you got stalkers. You got people stalking you from the past. They're holding some sort of weird ass grudge because you don't fuck with them. But you got um, admirers stalking you. People who really sees you as the queen of pentacles. Somebody who takes care of themselves. Somebody who handles their business. Somebody who's smart. Somebody who's clean. They take care of home. The queen of pentacles... That's somebody with good hygiene. So these people, they know you smell good, look good, skin soft, like all that type of shit. And you definitely have an admirer out here, um, a king of cups who's just looking at you and like, oh, like, look, like, look at him. He looked like he was doing something and whatever he was doing, he just stopped and sat down to just like, look at you. Like you're the most the amazing, most beautiful piece of art that they, that he's ever seen. And this King of Cups is in the future position. So you may be getting ready to meet this new water sign. Or maybe, I mean, you could have already met this person and you guys are just dating. Um, but some of you have met this um, mature water sign already. Or some of you are getting ready to meet this person. However, because I got to get the messages as I see fit. However... This King of Cups did fall on top of the screen card. So, I don't know. I mean, he seems like he has a... I mean, he's in the upright. So, I feel like he has good intentions. Um, But just be mindful. This person probably stalks you a lot on social media or something. Like, this person, like, literally probably, like, they get up, get on social media, and go straight to your page type shit. But yeah, I feel like this X is is in this Knight of Cups reverse energy. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this person, but whatever. Let's clarify. Why is the death card reverse? And whoever whoever this person is that refuses to change, it definitely could be a Scorpio. Um, but whoever this X is that refuses to change, Knight of Cups reverse, death card reverse. Um this person is not protected. I feel like this person, that this is the ancestors, but it's in reverse. I feel like this person had ancestors or they had um some type of spiritual protection, but I feel like they lost it. I feel like this person's ancestors like abandoned them. Like they don't want to protect this person no more. Whoever this ex is, they're, I don't know. I don't know. Because like I said, with the story of Judas... Jude is fucked up so bad to the point where he ended up taking himself out in the end. So whoever this person is, I feel like they really did you dirty. Like, I'm going to tell man, Leo, whoever your ex is, whoever this manipulative ass water sign is, or this crybaby ass ex-man, ex-woman, whoever this person is, karma is like literally eating this person from the inside out is what I'm hearing. Damn. Woo! Ooh, we clarify death card reverse. Yeah, ooh, Aunt Caroline. Yeah, this is the will of fortune. So, yes, will of fortune with the death card reverse man it's some major changes going on into the in this person's life this karmic cycle has been complete on your end leo i feel like you learned what you needed to learn from this person so you just cool now this person they weren't expecting shit to turn around on them like this uh the will of fortune this is what goes around comes around so whatever this person did to you for however long all of that shit is hitting this person at once. And they are like, I don't know. They getting fucked up by karma right now. 
yeah will of fortune and for some of you with the death card reverse like i said whoever these people is that you don't fuck with no more they see you as the will of fortune they see you as good luck good news they know that you're getting ready to take off like something is getting ready to take off here for you leo like real shit and it's like these people are scrambling trying to hop on your bandwagon before you leave them behind crazy part is the will of fortune is upright the karmic cycle has already been complete these people have already been left behind is what they don't know <laughs> so so i'm saying these people were a little slow clarify the will of fortune Yeah, world card reverse. I'm telling you, these people do not want this cycle to close out with you. But what they don't realize is that for you, Leo, the cycle is already closed. That's why you're so emotionally detached. You don't give a fuck no more. You've already accepted shit for what it is. You've already healed. You've already understood the <laughs> assignment. Okay? You on to the next thing. You on to the next level. Um, Aquarius energy. New age of Aquarius. You're coming up with ideas. Your, your spirit guides and your ancestors are giving you major downloads. It's almost like your mind is a fucking, like, you're coming up with, like, lucrative ideas and plans right now. Like, you're literally like a fucking genius right now, Leo. So you don't really have time for none of this stupid shit that these people are talking about. It's like you see success. You're focused on the dream. You're focused on the legacy I'm hearing. And world card reverse. These people don't want this shit to be over with. They are like trying their best to keep this karmic cycle from completely closing out. But it's already closed. Will of Fortune is upright. That's what, that's what these people... Man, these people are slow. Whoever these people are. Why is the world card reversed? Yeah, the wheel of fortune is upright and the world card is reversed. The tables have turned. Whatever karma that these people didn't receive, it didn't turn their world up side fucking down i'm telling you these people were never expecting shit to turn out like this they never thought that this is how this shit would would turn around on them Ooh we the tables have turned these people are and it's recent too because this is in the recent past so this literally could have been like within the last 24 hours some heavy ass karma has hit these people who fucked you over who, this ex who tried to fuck you over i'm telling you like it's all these people from the past i feel like some some type of karmic waved and just came and swiped these motherfuckers on some real shit the will of fortune it was unexpected an unexpected turn of events but it's good news for you bad news for they ass Ooh we that's why I said the Knight of Cups is out here. You might have some people like try to come back to you in tears and shit, but it's like these people are fake as phony as fuck. Nine of Cups reverse. These people are manipulative. They think they can gaslight you and manipulate your emotions because maybe they used to know you as being somebody as sensitive, caring, nurturing, like the Queen of Cups energy. They don't even know that you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy now. You're focused on money. Like... You know, stability, shit that actually matters, like real shit, not just emotional shit. Why is the world card reverse? Yeah, and these people are embarrassed. <laughs> Seven of Wands reverse. These people, whatever this karmic energy or this karmic wave was that then came over them in the last 48 hours um i mean not the last 48 it could have been the last 48 because i said that but i'm gonna say the last 24 i feel like that that full moon that we just had man then fuck somebody shit completely up or these people who fucked you over i mean they just got a heavy dose of that's what your ass get real shit 
Seven of Wands reversed. That's somebody who doesn't stand for anything. These people are weak-willed. They don't stand up for themselves. They don't stand up for what they believe in. These people are pushovers. They let people do them any type of way. These are also people with the Seven of Wands reversed that can never admit when they're wrong. They don't like to be wrong. Um, seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like these people give up. Yeah, it's like your enemies are surrendering. Whatever, yeah, seven of wands reverse. Your enemies are sur surrendering. 54, 54 on the timer. Whatever this karmic wave was that just hit them under the full moon, it's like they give up now. These people, they're like, hmm, I'm not finna fuck with Leo. Real shit. Seven of wands. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Why well, the seven of wands? Seven of wands. Yeah, these people are defensive. Four of pentacles. Yeah, four of pentacles. Some of these people are still trying to hang on to you, though. Even though karma is fucking them up, these people are, like, holding on for dear life, four coins. These people have some sort of attachment to you that they're, like, refusing to let go of. And the more they keep trying to hold on, the more karma gonna keep getting dished out to them. Yeah. I'm hearing, I'm hearing tablespoon. Tablespoon? Yeah, four coins. It's like... The cycle is already complete. The cycle is already over, but these people are still trying to hold on. This is like, yeah, this is somebody that's trying to hold on to you for dear life. For some of you, it could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. These people refuse to let you go. It's some type of attachment that they have um, with the four of pentacles. However, like, they could be trying to hang on to you for the wrong reasons, though. It could be for money. It could be for stability. Um, I was picking up something else off that Four of Pentacles. Yeah, these people are just, like, refusing to let go. But it's just, like, they keep they can keep holding on all they want to. I mean, like, karma is... Is already hitting them heavily. And the more they hold on, the more karma is going to keep hitting them. The karma is not going to stop until they let go. Because these people cannot go with you where God is calling you to go. I feel like a lot of you Leos have a calling on your life. It's a specific mission that God has for you. And as you level up and as you reach new heights... These people cannot go with you, but they don't know how to let go. So, and I feel like, Leo, you've already done your part. You've already learned the lesson. You've already released these people. You're already on to the next thing, already on to the next chapter. And these people are refusing to let go of your energy. Karma is going to keep knocking them down and keep knocking them down until they finally just say, fuck it. Seven of Wands reverse. I surrender. I give up because you can't come. <laughs> I'm hearing... You can't sit with us, mean girls. <laughs> wow. Okay, clarify the queen of the mother of coins. Yeah, five of cups. Yeah, some of you, like Leo's, you're focusing on your healing. You know, I feel like. Some of you, like, you may lay in the bed, you know, right before you're getting ready to go to sleep, and you may think about some of these people and may feel kind of sad that you had to leave some of these people behind. But I feel like you understand why it's necessary, though. So at the end of the day, it's like, it's just, it is what it is. Five of Cups, like, you know, 
You know, it's like, you know, these people regret doing whatever they did to you. But at the same time, death card reverse, you know, these people have not changed. These people are not woke. These people aren't enlightened. So, you know that you can't take them with you. And I feel like it makes you a little sad or it's just like disappointing that shit had to be this way. But, you know, it is what it is, Leo. It's good. Like, you got this. No matter what, I mean, like, you got this shit. You know what God calling you to do. Like, everything will be replaced, okay? And not saying that you can replace certain relationships, but what I'm saying is they will be uh, filled uh, with something better in your life, better connections, better relationships, better businesses. You know, you don't have to be sad about this shit. I mean, it may be sad right now, but I feel like later on down the line, you're going to be happy that you made these choices not to take these people with you. Um, five of Cups here. But like I said, it's definitely a water sign out here that has a lot of regret behind doing something towards you, Leo, with the Five of Cups. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is definitely, it could be more than one water sign, but it's definitely some water signs out here, specifically a Scorpio that... Um, Scorpio, and I'm hearing Pisces. Well, hell, I'm hearing all three of their ass. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio has a lot of regret about doing whatever that they did to you, Leo. Um, oh, yeah. Three of Knives, Reverse. For some of you, this could have been a third party. Um, I feel like a third party with you, Leo, an air sign, and a water sign. Um... The water sign is in a lot of regret. The water sign is heartbroken, real shit. Um, and the air sign feels disrespected. With the three of swords reversed, the air sign is like offended, like defensive. Like, I don't know. I feel like the, the air sign got their feelings hurt in the situation. Three of swords, it could be a Libra. But the air sign definitely is feeling some type of way towards you. The, the water sign, they, they're they in regret and they're heartbroken too, but they're more in their feelings, very much sad and regret and remorseful and down and out and crying and shit. And this air sign though, this air sign feels disrespected. They feel heartbroken, traumatized. Um, Three of Swords Reverse is, is trauma, humiliating experiences, um, heartbreak, um PTSD sometimes um yeah like this air sign just can't get over it whatever happened here this air sign can't get over it this uh Libra Aquarius Gemini can't get over or it could be this air sign that's in this five of cups energy with all this regret uh, about what they did to you or whatever. Why is the three of swords here? Yeah, this person could have lied on you with the three of swords reverse because the three of swords is a big ass lie, basically. And when it's like it's in the reverse, so I feel like this big ass lie is being exposed about this air sign or this water sign or both of they is. Yeah, the free man. I feel like you walked away from this person or these people, or this could be an Aries. This Aries has a lot of regret about how they treated you too, um, Leo. Even though this Aries may not admit it because they're in the upright, uh, but trust and believe they really feel stupid for how they treated you. This Aries does. They have a lot of regret even though they, they haven't admitted it or haven't said anything or this uh, air sign or this water sign. It's definitely a lot of regret somebody has behind what they did to someone.
And for some of you, I don't know what this was somebody did, but it's very, very serious because in this deck, um, the fool card, this man in this suit always reminds me of a detective. So... Yeah, some of you Leos could still be mourning the death of someone that passed. Five of Cups, Three of Swords reversed with the Fool card. Some of you are mourning the death of someone. So that could be another reason why you're just not even worried about nobody else's feelings because you're trying to deal with grief of whoever this is that you lost. So my condolences to you, Leo. And I feel like, I mean, you could go and visit this uh, visit this person's uh, grave. Because he does kind of look like he in a cemetery. So, yeah. So, you, you may have recently visited this person's grave. And it just made you sad all over again. Leo, my guides are saying to just take it one day at a time. Um... wow whoever this is that passed away like i really feel the sadness like there's definitely a heartbroken leo out here about someone i don't i don't feel like this is um for some of you this could be a breakup or a divorce or a separation that some of you are like really um heartbroken about you may have moments where you cry about it, but you don't let other people see that. You just kind of just stay to yourself. Others of you, this is somebody who was really close to you that passed away. It could be a family member. And I feel like one day you're okay. Um, that could be another reason, Leo, why you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. Because maybe a lot of you are, could be focusing on work to try to distract yourselves from this heartbreak, from this pain, from this regret that you're dealing with. Um, in regards to this loss of this person, like, geez, I really felt that. I, I really felt my chest get, like, it's like my heart really just get warm. So, yeah, so, Leo, just taking one day at a time. Like, it'll never completely go away, but it'll definitely get better. It will you know you'll get to the point where you can think about this person and not cry so it'll get better i'm hearing clarify the free man clarify the free man yeah page of coins so for some of you this Aries may try to offer you a gift or offer you to hang out again or come to some type of family occasion. Like I said, with the daughter of coins, the daughter of coins, that's a page of coins. It's an offer. I'm telling you, somebody is trying to go, somebody is going to try to use Easter Sunday as a way to connect with you. They're going to use today as an excuse to contact you. This person may text you and be like, happy Easter or something like that. They probably don't even know. You don't even celebrate Easter. Some of you don't, Leo. But this person is definitely going to take a risk. This is the Fool card with the Page of Pentacles. Whoever these people that are in regret, they're going to take some sort of leap of faith, some some, some sort of risk, and try to uh, apologize to you with the Page of Coins. Some of these people may even try to bring you a gift. I don't know if this person is actually going to verbally communicate that they're sorry, but they're just going to try to like give you some type of gift or make some sort of like um, apology or this person is going to do something to try to reconnect with you. But I don't really feel like it's that emotional. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person is emotional like they are in their feelings they do have a lot of regret and remorse for how they treated you but i feel like when they try to reach out to you or make this offer it's not really going to be emotional this person is going to try to offer you some sort of give offer to take you out on a date with the page of coins or uh, some of you they're gonna i mean like offer to let you meet their family or 
or invite you to some sort of gathering or something with people or where it's food at or something like that. This person is going to take a leap of faith with a food cart and try to like, I don't know, offer you a gift, offer you something tangible with the page of pentacles. Some of you, uh, you can have a kid with this Aries with the page of pentacles. You can have an earth sign child with this Aries, but you don't have to. Uh -uh. That's a daughter of coins, yeah. And others of you, this is you, Leo. You're turning your pain into power. The fool card with the page of pentacles, you're taking a leap of faith on yourself and starting something new, some sort of project, so some sort of seed that you're planting that's going to be lucrative in the long run. Daughter of coins, it's like you're starting something from the very beginning. This could be you taking a leap of faith and going back to school. Some of you are fi um, finishing your degree. I'm hearing cosmetology. Some of you are, are um, getting into, you're taking a leap of faith and getting into criminal justice. Um, some of you, you have the desire to be like an, a detective or something to help. I'm hearing, what is it? What is it? Um, a forensic investigator, I'm hearing. Yeah, a lot of you Leos are turning pain into power. Whatever this is that hurt you, you're using that as motivation to accomplish your goals. You're definitely starting something new here with the... Um, Full card in the page, page of coins. You're taking a leap of faith on yourself, doing something you've never done before, trying something you've never tried before. But I feel like it's at the very beginning stages, page of coins. You're just getting started. You're just now researching. You're just now enrolling. You're just now learning. Like you're getting started on something brand new here. Some of you are becoming first time moms and maybe your spouse or the person that you got pregnant by may have passed away that's for those of you where you're having your first child like this is your first kid ever and you're new to motherhood um something may have happened to your significant other that has you like really heartbroken yeah my my guys are saying that this person is around you though all the time like real shit so you're not really alone you know it's just i mean it feels like you're alone because you guys are in two different realms you're still here on earth in the 3d this person has passed on already but they're still around you the only difference is like this person isn't in the flesh anymore i'm hearing 